Hello guys, nice to see you again. Uh, as I promised uh, in one of my uh, previous video, uh, today uh, I will talk about uh, Supernova uh, Forend. Uh, this is uh, absolutely new shotgun with absolutely new Forend. And um, as you can see, the Forend is uh, moving uh, I will show it again. Forend is moving very tightly. For example, if I compare forend movement with my uh, sport shotgun, uh, you can see the difference. The hammer is uh, on. Uh, I am pressing uh, on the bolt stop clutch, and as you see. Current is moving down by the receiver to the Benelli logo. One more time, look. See, yeah? And new shotgun. See it again. I am pressing. Ball stop latch. And forend isn't moving. Pressing again, the bolt is unlocked, but forend is still on its place. Uh, this method of uh, falling down forend is a very good thing for testing of uh, proper work of uh, of the mechanics of your pump action shotgun. But but if your forend is falling down here closely to the end of the working distance it means that uh, your hammer spring is very weak and you need to change it uh, before the problem during shot uh, will begin uh, and the reason of this uh, poor work of uh, forend is uh, that the distance between the uh, walls of the forend here and here uh, corresponds uh, too closely to the width of uh, a receiver of your shotgun. Uh, at the new forend, uh, the uh, distance uh, between the walls of forend uh, in points of contact with the receiver is. Uh, 42 and quarter uh, millimeters and uh, the width of uh, receiver is 43 and quarter millimeters uh, on my sport uh, supernova this distance is 44 millimeters that's why the forend as you see is moving very easy. Uh, and the problem of uh, tight forend is um, typically for new shotguns and for very active used shotguns. Because uh, when you shooting at high speed, very fast, you are holding your forend very tightly. And um, when you pressing forend here, in this part, they are more thin than main body of your forehand. When you're pressing it here, the distance in this place between smaller and smaller. Sometimes walls are arched inward, so that is visible with the naked eye. Therefore, uh, periodically you need to uh, restore the original dimensions uh, of the forehand. And now I will show you how to do it by yourself. For this work you need forehand, caliper, tennis ball, usual tennis ball, the clamp and uh, the electronical heater. It can be uh, industrial heater, it can be uh, usual hair dryer. But if you are using heater you need uh, to use electronical thermometer. Since uh, most dryer 
cannot heat the forehand above 60 degrees by Celsius, but uh, industrial heater uh, can uh, heat it more than it is uh, good for uh, this material. So, first I will measure the distance between the wall. 42 point 24 25 millimeters i need at this place 44 millimeters of uh, easy moving on forehand what i'm doing first i'm putting tennis ball in the place what i want to make larger then I need to fix it by clamp and after that I am starting to warm it up. I need to control the temperature of foreign surface. Now it's 70 374 degrees by Celsius. Okay, now I need to work with another side of forehand. The start temperature is 26. Let's check it. It is 74 degrees by Celsius on surface and uh, I need to warm up my forehand also here to make it wider I need to control the temperature surface time by time and now I need to check the distance between the walls. We need a little more of heating, warming up. Need to check gain temperature. Uh, 94. It's too much. And here is 5960 there is 70 ok I think this is enough and uh, I need to leave it for slowly cooling down so I will fix the bowl by clamp and leave it for a few minutes. Let's check the temperature again. Uh, 29 degrees from this side and 28 from this side. I think it is enough. And now I want to measure the distance between the wall. 40. I have now. 45 millimeters. It is little bit larger than my foreign on sport shotgun, but it is not a problem. If you need to restore your foreign after a lot of shooting, you need to put ball to that part of foreign. Here, you see, because you are pressing your foreign here and the distance be, uh, became smaller in that place <coughs> okay now i want to install this foreign to the shotgun and uh, check it check how it works 
So I have finished my work and uh, let's check the movement of forehand and all mechanism. As you see, forehand is falling down until letter and and Benelli words until the hammer is on. Okay. I think it's good result. I think you understood my explanation in English, uh, and it is not so difficult uh, for you to understand me. And in my next video, I will tell you about uh, uh, reparation, uh, restoring of uh, supernova receiver. See you in next video. Stay with our channel. Stay with us and. Bye-bye.